as Christians, there are times where you take shots. That's where the Bible gives you your training. I get all the time, I don't look like the typical pastor, and that's okay. Um, there's actually a cool verse in the Bible that says, be wary when all men speak well of you. If everybody loves you, you're doing something wrong. God, you have called us to a fight. When Preston came up with the idea of having a fight club in the church, it was an easy thing to say yes to. Tough guys need Jesus too. You guys like to see me fight another pastor? We'll just be a couple of God-fearing men punching each other in the face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pastor versus Pastor. Tonight, we got to fight. And then we're going to talk about Jesus tomorrow when we go to church. The tradition of which I'm a part is that we want love one another, and this ain't love. At the end of the day, it's about reaching people with the gospel, regardless of what you do to introduce them into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Punch, punch, punch to the face. Now go for the jump right there. I carry my faith inside the cage with me. I probably wouldn't be in the position I am today if I wasn't a Christian. This is a battlefield. We need to charge them, not wait for them to come to us. Mainstream Christianity has feminized men. If we would raise our boys to be men, these kind of problems go away. As I progress in my Christian life, I start to see a conflict there. Cage fighting does not speak about loving one another. Cage fighting is about hating one another, basically. God said, don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged, because I'm your God, and I'll be with you wherever you go, right? Lucas, get your hands up! Listen, finishing strong doesn't mean we win every battle. Jesus never quit. Jesus never tapped out. He finished what he came to do. If you really want the enemy off your trail, you got to learn to put your foot on his neck. Somebody shout Jesus. Can you love your neighbor as yourself and then at the same time knee him in the face as hard as you can? Hold on, hold on, don't go away. Don't you want to know what is the most annoying thing on set for James Cameron? Well, it's cell phones. They annoyed the director so much that during the filming of Avatar, he kept an owl with him and would nail the cells to a wall if they rang on set during filming. Oops, <laughs> lucky I'm not on the set of Avatar, hey. Yeah, anyway, so, Remember to click that subscribe button so you can always have the latest videos the moment they are released. See you next time.